Good afternoon. So today we're going to do some more carbon fibre work. So a mate of mine has dropped his boot struts off. Now I've never done these before but we're just going to wrap them in carbon. Obviously no other purpose than to look good. So before we do anything we'll disassemble them as much as we can. So by taking the ends off and then we can throw them in the shop blaster and get all the paint off them. It's supposed to be the nicest day of the year, but just decides to uh, rain inside. Right, now them little bits are off. Obviously I'm not gonna wrap them or skin them. It's got the main body, so probably skin the whole body up to this little cap on the end because it don't come off. Uh, and then because it's stepped anyway, we might end up with it being nice and smooth all the way across. So I'm going to tape that bit up with a bit of aluminium tape so that when it's in the blaster, it don't get damaged. And then we'll throw it in the shop blaster. If you ain't got a shop blaster, you can just rub it down with 180. We'll just make sure it's nice and rough. Right, now that is got some alley tape on just to protect that end when I'm blasting it. Uh, I'm going to put this end in a bag because I don't want no media going down there and messing with the seals when it's in the cabinet. So there's the cabinet, it's a mate of mine, Jack's, uh, he bought it to start restoring his R33, which is pretty much finished. He might get the engine in this year, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. So yeah, we're just going to pop him in there and give him a quick blast. Now that's one of them, so I've not gone too mad because it is gas filled and you are firing media at it which can warm it up but it's still cold as long as it's got a rough texture gives the carbon fibre resin something to grip onto we'll be happy with that so i just got to do them three now and then we'll head down to the shed and get some resin on it Alright so we're back in the shed, these are all ready to go We've got the materials here from Easy Composites. I'll put a link in the description for them. Got a roll of carbon in it, roll of Kevlar with carbon in it that I did in my other video. Um, before we go mixing any resin, I will cut some of the cloth. So just like that. Because you want to cut it to size, make sure it fits before you've got anything sticky on it. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. So that's two of them cut, that's for these two, because they're a bit shorter than them two. So I'll stick these ones on and then I'll just do them ones off camera. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to do it. You could use the black base coat, or you could even use the coating resin. Put it on first and then stick the carbon on. But we're going to have to wait two hours for that to dry, plus another hour when we stick the carbon on. So I'm going to try just using adhesive spray which is a temporary holding. So we'll spray that on, stick it on, and then we can mix up some of the coating resin and just go straight over it. Right, so they're taped up now, ready to spray this fusion fix. So this is like a temporary adhesive, so you don't want to use much of this really, because it can show up in the resin. Uh, you spray it on, leave it two minutes, and then when the solvent from that has dissipated, uh, you better stick the carbon on. Right, so now that's on, 
This basically the centre bit will be where the join in the cabin is. Now we're going to separate them two, space some of the glue down in the middle again, stick them back together and then eventually once it's resined we will sand that off and it will just be like a butt joint. So now they're fully stuck down with that temporary adhesive. What we're going to do is mix up some of this coating resin along with the hardener and then we'll give it one coat. The aim of this one is just to get the fabric wet and then we'll leave that overnight, uh, at least eight hours. Uh, that'll go hard and then we can start cutting the piece off that we don't need, flattening it back and moving on to the further gel coats. Right, so that's first coat done. I have peeled a bit of masking tape off here because I don't want the masking tape going hard with the resin because then it would be an absolute nightmare to get off. Uh, I'll just leave them overnight, probably at least eight hours, but it's Sunday night now. I'll probably come back to them Monday night and sand them back and then start getting the rest of the resin on. So it's now Monday night. They've gone off, so got a nice snad. I will get the Dremel on them with one of these little wheels. We'll cut the excess off, um, sand it back with some 180 so it's got a nice texture and then we will mix up some more resin and do three more coats. Right, so I've rubbed back with 180. I've masked up this end because there's don't want no resin going on there. I've masked up the thread in the end. Now I'm just going to mix up a coat with this. So do one coat, wait two hours, second coat, two hours, third coat, and then leave it overnight. Right, so I've only managed two coats tonight because it's getting on and I've got work in the morning because I've not got enough subscribers yet so subscribe right uh, we'll see what they're like in the morning Right, it's now Wednesday. Uh, the two coats I did last night I'm going to add. So what I did is where the join was, where the two bits of carbon met each other, I made sure they was at the bottom so that all the resin that ran down would fill the join. So they just need sanding down now, which I'll probably do in the drill again to make life easier. And then we're going to lacquer them. So, it's not a quick process. I started this on Sunday night, but most of the time you're just waiting for resin to dry. But we'll sand them down now and then get some lacquer on them and they'll be done. So that's it, finally done, came up pretty well, I'm happy with them. So that's going to be it for this one, I hope you found it useful, any questions drop them below and I'll try and answer them, uh, if you made it this far or if you did find it useful then smash that thumbs up, I'll see you on the next one.